Mother's Day is always a mixed blessing for me. I love spending time with my kids, watching them grow up each year. But each new phase in life, every new achievement of theirs brings to mind the mom I no longer have. I'm sure she follows our lives and watches them grow. Death is an odd mistress. On one hand, I'd never become the person I am today without my mom's birth. But on the other hand, I also wouldn't become the person I am today without her death. My mother taught me lessons, and she continues to teach them to me to this day, despite not being physically here. She's taught me what it is to feel loved. She taught me perseverance, hard work ethics, and the knowledge that I could do and be anything I wanted to if I didn't question it and I just did it. She taught me to always depend on myself. I glean my art skills from her, my interest and knowledge in the spiritual realm, and my ability to cope with chronic pain from her life. This list goes on and on. Losing her to cancer was hard. It was an 11 year battle that never stopped for a day. When she passed eight years ago from terminal cancer, I truly believed that life had lost a lot of its meaning. All I could think of were the things that I'd never be able to do with her. The thoughts of the things that we had done together felt jumbled in the background, and I worried that I'd never be clear-headed enough to pull them up happily again. I held her hand when she died. I gave her her last dose of morphine. I talked to her and told her to go. I swabbed her mouth when she needed water, and I held her hand when she let out her last breath and then she was gone. She was the first person that I'd ever been with as they passed. And starting that day, I began to understand that everything about her life and death were going to keep teaching me throughout my life. After her death, I became more empathetic to those with loss than I had ever been capable of before. I understood the grief of knowing what you've lost and I could relate to others' pain. I learned that even when you're in chronic pain, the most important thing is to keep living until the end. Every day of life, sick or not, is another day of life. I learned how to get through the next two deaths I watched happen. I learned I was strong, that I could rely on myself without her. I found Buddhism because of losing her. I found new interests because of losing her. I made new friends because of losing her. And I helped more people deal with their terminal illness than I ever could have. I miss her. But for the first time in my life, I'm at peace and I'm happy. Sometimes I consider that her birth was purposed for all the things she would teach people in her sickness and death. I am the mom I am because of her. I try each day to live up to her level of caring for her kids. She made me strong. In my video this week on ME theory, I spouted off a lot of particle physics rhetoric and spiritual prophecy, but I didn't spend time talking about what the theory of everything means for us. What are we supposed to do with it? What do we do with any of the info? And if the end times are nigh, then why does life matter anyway? Don't misunderstand me. We're here for a reason. I truly believe that. In a world full of misery, we need love. We need to try to understand each other. We need to live by basic golden rules, treat people how you wish to be treated. We need to give more and take less. Don't look at the events that are happening in the world today as a loss. Think of it as a way to gain knowledge and understanding that you wouldn't otherwise have and use that knowledge and pain to make the world better. The events of today do not have to be pointless. Let us become stronger for the things we suffer. We can use this lesson to give up or we can use it to move forward, stronger and brighter and more full of love than we ever have before. So happy Mother's Day to all the moms.